Right, this is all about the five classes of vertebrates. A vertebrate is an animal that has a backbone. Um, so there are mammals, fish, reptiles, amphibians and birds are the five classes of animals that have backbones. An animal that doesn't have a backbone we call an invertebrate. There's also the term chordata that you need to know which is any animal that has a supporting rod running through it. Let's look at those five classes of vertebrates now. Mammals are covered in hair. They feed on their mother's milk. Fertilisation happens internally, so the sperm meets the egg inside the female. Mammals are homeotherms, so they're warm-blooded. This means that they keep their body temperature the same. We're viviparous, which means the mothers give birth to live young, and we have lungs to absorb oxygen. The next class is birds. Birds have feathers and wings. They use internal fertilisation, like mammals. They are also homeotherms. However, they are oviparous, which means the mother lays eggs. They also have lungs to absorb oxygen. Next, we have reptiles, like alligators and crocodiles and snakes. They have scaly skin. They also use internal fertilisation, but they are poikilotherms, which means they are cold-blooded. They let their body temperature vary. They are oviparous, which means they lay eggs and they also have lungs to absorb oxygen. Ribbit, ribbit. The next category is amphibians. They have moist skin. They are poikilotherms too, which means they are cold-blooded. They lay eggs. Think about frog spawn. So they are oviparous. They use external fertilization, so the sperm meets the egg outside of the female. And they can get oxygen into their body through their lungs or through their skin. The last category is fish. Fish have scales and fins. They are cold-blooded. They are poikilotherms. They use external fertilization too. And they lay eggs. They are oviparous. Lastly, fish use gills to absorb oxygen because they live in the water. Some vertebrates are very difficult to classify. Look at the duckbill platypus. It's covered in hair, like a mammal, and the young feeds on its mother's milk, like a mammal. But look, it's also got a beak, like a bird, and it lays eggs, like a bird. So how should we classify it? We have problems. It's not that straightforward.